Welcome to Physics Can Be Fun with me, Stephen Thomas. Today we're looking at the rate of reaction and specifically how temperature affects the rate of a reaction. And our reaction is going to be bicarbonate of soda, this white powder, with vinegar. So, we need a thermometer. Well, we've made a thermometer out of this little electronic circuit here, which has got a pick. 16F677 and it's attached to a thermistor underneath here and if you can see the little thermistor anyway it's a little variable resistor that changes voltage and its resistance with temperature we've put it underneath this tin that contains water and ice and our Temperature at the moment is one point, it gives it one, nine degrees, eight degrees, and so on. So the temperature is coming down, and what we are going to do is, we're going to take a balloon, we're going to attach a funnel to it, we're going to take a set amount of bicarbonate of soda, which is, we're going to take half a tablespoon of bicarbonate of soda to make sure we take the same amount. We scrape it level. Then we take our half a tablespoon and we pour it into the funnel. And there it is. Now we have a balloon with bicarbonate of soda a set amount and here we're going to repeat the experiment four times so we've got four balloons with equal amounts of bicarbonate of soda now we're going to do this experiment of adding the bicarbonate of soda to this bottle in which we're going to put a set concentration of vinegar so we're going to First clean this funnel and then we'll be back. Now for our set concentration of vinegar what we're going to do is we're going to take one tablespoon of vinegar so we fill this as much as we can so there's one tablespoon of vinegar we're going to put it into this little container which tells us that it's a certain volume, 125 milliliters. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fill this container with our ice cold zero degree water. So I'm going to fill this with zero degree water. When this is nice and cold down to zero degrees, so we're going to have a fixed concentration of that one tablespoon of vinegar in 125 mils of water. So I'm putting this bottle back in here. And now we have a set concentration of vinegar. We're going to repeat this four times. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this balloon over the end of the bottle. And we're going to squeeze out all the air. like that. So all the air is squeezed out and now we are ready to go. Let's just see what our temperature is. It says it's 6. And we're going to stir this till it gets down to 4. 4. And we're going to stir it till it gets down to zero and then we're ready to start our experiment.
it's one degree and now it's on zero so now we are ready to start our experiment got our stopwatch and we're going to time how long it takes for this balloon to fill up on our marks get set go five seconds it's fizzing 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 18 19 20 bingo 22.88 seconds 22.88 seconds so at a temperature of zero We've got a time of 22,88 seconds. And we will work out the rate of this reaction by dividing the volume of air produced, 60 times 10 to the minus 6 meters cubed, divided by 2288. So our rate of the reaction is how much gas is produced over the time. And we've just measured the time for the reaction. And now we're going to repeat the same experiment at 10 degrees, 20 degrees, and 30 degrees. So we've done it at a temperature of 0 degrees. But let's do it at a temperature of 10 degrees and 20 and so on. And we will get our results and then draw a graph. So we're going to repeat exactly the same experiment. Now, if we have the temperature at 10, 10.161, so that is 10. Let us now measure the rate, how long the reaction takes when the temperature is 10 degrees centigrade. On our marks, get set, go. And that took exactly 5.5 seconds. 5.5 seconds. So that's really a lot faster. So at 10, the time it took was 5, 5 zero seconds. Now let's repeat the reaction at 20 degrees Celsius. Right, next we have the reaction at 20 degrees, 20.90. 20 so 20 degrees on our marks, get set, go. And that was 2.4 four seconds that it took at 20 degrees or just about room temperature 2.44 seconds and we have one last measurement and that is the reaction at 30 degrees right and for our last measurement we're going to measure how quickly this reaction goes at 30 degrees Celsius so let's check our temperature 30.909 30.909 so we are on 30 are we ready look at our results 22.5 2.44 what do we think it's going to be at 30 I think we're gonna to have to be quick let's try it on our marks get set go And that was 1,78 seconds before for the balloon to lift up straight. 1.78 seconds. So, there we have our data. At temperature of 0, 22,88. At temperature 10 degrees Celsius, 5.5. 20 degrees, 2.44, 30 degrees, 1.78, and all that's left for us to do is to plot a graph. Now, in conclusion, because physics can be always is fun, we have used our ASA notebook to and um, an Excel type of spreadsheet program 
to draw our graph for us. So what we've done is we've put the we have put the time here 225 2.41.78 we've put the temperature 0 10 20 30 here Excel works out the rate of the reaction and then it draws us a graph very easily look at that graph there is our rate of the reaction that's on our vertical or y-axis there is our time that is our independent variable uh, sorry temperature there is temperature our independent variable along the x-axis and look at that graph almost a beautiful straight line graph so what is the rate of the reaction compared to the temperature the greater the temperature the greater the rate of the reaction there's looks like there's a directly proportional relationship between temperature degrees centigrade and rate of the reaction we could use degrees kelvin or kelvin along this axis and we could then also work out a rate of reaction that might be better and then we could extrapolate backwards down to zero Kelvin and at that point we might expect no rate of reaction whatsoever but that we could just speculate on so there you see the, that we have a what looks like a fairly straight line graph showing that the greater the temperature of the vinegar or the reactant the greater the rate of the reaction.